We're going to do a small tutorial on common names for aldehydes. Common names come from the traditional names used for these chemicals. Okay? So, let's begin remembering what we did in the last uh, tutorial, right? So, if we only have carbon double bonding to O with H's on the side, that means that we only have one carbon. This is, in fact, an aldehyde called methanol. Then, the next one with two carbons is ethanol. And then the next one with three carbons is propanol, which means three propanol, three carbons with a carboxy group. And then we have butanol. And this is a bit scrunchy, but I'm going to do it anyways. We have pentanol. These names are substituted. These are UPAC. I'm going to write it up here. For common names, from, as I said, their original nomenclature. So the meth prefix is going to be substituted by the word form. And what are we going to add to make it an aldehyde? Form aldehyde. The F from number two is going to be substituted for acet. So this becomes acet aldehyde. The three prefix prop is substituted about four propion aldehyde. The but prefix is substituted for butyr aldehyde. And the five prefix penta is substituted for valer aldehyde. It's really important that you memorize, and there's really no other way to get around this other than memorization, but these common prefixes are useful not only for aldehydes, but for other compounds that are also derived from um, carbonyl groups, such as carboxylic acids and amides, which we will see later on. So remember, number one is form, form aldehyde. Acet is number two. Three is propion. Butyr is number four. And valer is number five, with the ending aldehyde. But these are synonyms. In UPAC, we call it methanol, and in common names, we call it formaldehyde. So these two represent the exact same molecule. It's just their traditional names versus their systematic international names.